If I had to describe myself in one word, just one singular word, it would be curious. When I have an idea or vision, it consumes me and I must at all costs know what would happen if I tried to make it real. Curiosity, unlike thirst, is never quenched or satisfied, it is only fueled. The fire burns brighter every time I embark on a new expedition. Now you may ask yourself what it is I seek here in Greece. Self-fulfillment, warfare, political intrigue, romance, a royal conquest perhaps. I came here for one reason, and one reason only. Less than 48 hours, I'll literally be over plate degrees. I'll be in this stone bowl in like 48 hours. <laughs> You're one of these. I don't know what is it. That man right there was one of my high school running coaches. You may remember him from last year's run across New York. If not, here's a quick recap. We're in Amagansett, right outside of Montauk. It's about five o'clock in the morning. Alex right now is fighting. His body's breaking down. He's pushing along. After running 463 miles from Niagara Falls to Wontaw, New York, I decided to run the final 102 miles to Montauk Point in one shot. My body started to break down at around mile 63. And I'm way behind pace, uh, so these guys came out to help. Saravetti, Tyler, and Megan met me in the Hamptons in the middle of the night to pace me. Their encouragement helped me get to the finish line in one piece. Saravetti has been by my side in all my running endeavors, and so naturally, before leaving on this one, we had to get together for a send-off dinner. What was that text message? Coach, I am in the middle of the Hamptons. I don't know where <laughs> yeah. I am. I need your help. I All still, right, I still remember, it was like, I think it was the mile 84 split of your run for that day. It was like 740 or something like that. Oh my yeah. god, Like, we, we were it. flying, yeah. We just killed it for one mile. That was the worst I've ever felt. So this is one of the very few things I was able to, that I wanted to keep from coaching there. Yeah. So this is something that I've always wanted to keep for myself, but this will keep you warm on those cold nights. Oh. Plus it has my name on it, so I'm kind of being with you in Greece. <laughs> oh my god, so I want That's you to have cool. it. Because it's more meaningful for you because you're gonna be doing something fucking crazy. <laughs> so, oh. No problem. Man. Just be safe, all right? Do <laughs> what you've been doing. And Good, how are you? Uh, can I get a hot coffee with almond milk? What size? Uh, large. Whew, all right. I gotta go to Greece now. Um, I'll explain. I'll explain the whole situation in a second when I get back to my house. Okay. Right, real quick, let's discuss the flight details. First order of business is I will have a 10-hour flight from New York City to Istanbul, Turkey. Then I'll have, I think, a two-hour layover in Istanbul. Then we'll have another two-hour flight from Istanbul to Athens, Greece. Then I will have another two-hour layover. Then I will have another hour and 20-minute flight from Athens to Alexandrupoli, which is the starting point. It's the Greek mobile. I wish he was just going to a beach somewhere. <laughs> Says that every time. All right, I'm here with uh, my dad. He's taking me to the airport. Thanks for the ride. Oh, no problem. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're sick of this. this I'm, not, I'm not sick of it. I worry every time you go away. I'm a father, so I worry. That's my job. I worry. Especially Greece, you know, they've a lot of turmoil. Uh, yeah, I think they went bankrupt, you know, so there's a lot of unemployment. But, you know, they're basically nice people. They've been around for a long time, I think, so, you know, you should be, uh, you should be okay. Um, I made this for you, now don't laugh at me, but this is a uh, dummy wallet, okay? Wait, a dummy what? It's a, it's a dummy wallet. If somebody comes up to you and says, give me all your money, I made this wallet look like your real wallet. No. It, it's got real cash in there, $160 or so in there. It's got like fake ID and business cards and all kinds of stuff, so. That's actually super smart. I'll have that easily accessible. Easily accessible, and if somebody like, you know, it, it's a threatening thing and you have to give it up, give it up. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I think of the stupid things, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's smart. You good? I'm good. All right. 
Unbelievable. Have fun. All right, guys. So real quick before I check into the flight, I want to show you the gear setup. So this is a B.O.B. or Bob Dooley stroller. It's for twins because uh, for this trip I need a lot more stuff than the last trip. So we're going with the double stroller. Everything in this suitcase will be put into here once the run begins and I'm gonna ditch the suitcase in Alexandrupoli. I'm picking up my baby. I adopted two kids in Greece. So I'm taking the stroller to go get them. Dimitri and Yanni. It's a big day. It's Alexander. Oh, I'll type it in, yeah. He's gonna subscribe to me on YouTube. So this is the gate, Bonita, and this is the seat. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. Take care, sir. Hello. Thank you. We are now in the airplane tube boarding our flight to Istanbul. Hello, welcome aboard. This way, please. Have a nice flight. Here. So we are in Istanbul right now, and I don't know how to put this, but this is my fifth time in Istanbul this year. And I don't know, I do a lot of weird things, like with my running and, you know, I'm just like a, generally, I, I get it, I'm like kind of different. The fact that I've been to Istanbul five times this year makes me feel like a weird person. So we just had uh, dinner, and in the middle, Alex drops. Yeah, this will be the fifth time I'm back in Istanbul this year, in 2021. That's, yeah. that's the most insane stat that I've ever heard in my entire life. Is it really? I, I honestly think that might be crazier than the running stats. What kid from Long Island, New York is going to pass through Istanbul five times in a single year? I'm willing to bet none. It's asinine. Yes. Welcome to Istanbul, everybody. Hey, this is bougie. Screw America, let's move here. I'm in. No, this is my fourth time in Istanbul. That's crazy. I'm passing through Istanbul at an unusually high frequency. Bye, right, thank you. And uh, we're ready to start running. I mean, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, but still, like, we're ready to go. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like a psycho. So, you go with a uh, foot to the something like that. Yeah, it's a Sparta. Sparta. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna run to Sparta. Sparta. My first stop is Thessaloniki. So, like, it's far. It's far, right? Yes. Do you uh, get a lot of American tourists out here or not really? No. None? American, no. Right, Americans don't come this far north. Yes. Yeah, that's what people were telling me. This is the hotel. Checking in. An executive suite? Yes, collector. That sounds great. Yes, I was I actually need an executive suite. That works perfectly. 
Oh my god. This is dope. Welcome to the executive suite, everybody. I'll give you a tour. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the living area for uh, living and stuff. Activities other than sleeping. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the bedroom, also known as a sleeping area for sleeping. Ooh. What's this? Antiseptic hand gel. You know, I never travel to a place that doesn't have antiseptic hand gel. Thank you. Thank you for that. This is the bathroom. This is the balcony. Hello, uh, I was gonna order some room service. Uh, do you have a whiskey? Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go over the general plan for this run. Okay. So I was talking with the taxi driver on the way here. He said, no Americans really come up here. Like, he's a taxi driver in this town, and he rarely picks up Americans from the airport. Right? So that said, there's not going to be a lot of English speakers between Alexandrupoli, which is where I am now, and Thessaloniki. This whole section of northern Greece, based on what I've been told, is uh, going to be a little more challenging with the, with the language barrier. Okay, and uh, it's also going to be cold up here. Like, I felt it out there. It's pretty cold, but it's also supposed to be raining and s I think snowing, but definitely raining uh, the next three days. I mean, we're going to be fine, but it's just, it is what it is. The mileage I scheduled to, for tomorrow is 46. So I wrote 46 miles down on the schedule. That's a lot of pasta. I ordered double. All right guys, it's about 11 p.m. I'm gonna wrap this episode up. I know this is gonna be physically demanding and logistically complicated, but I feel like I'm as prepared as I can be and I'm just gonna go for it. I'm excited. All right, I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Stay righteous.